Yeah, welcome back everyone. I want to show you this. You know my stylized fish pieces? That's what we're going to do next, okay? Because a few people are asking me to do my stylized work. Just something as simple as that. Um, I call this a rebel fish, you know? Sometimes I call them funky fishes, psychedelic fishes, but it's all to do with the color, okay? And it's very, very easy to follow, okay? The lines might be a bit tricky to get, tricky to get used to, but you will get used to it. But it's, uh, it's also valuable lessons to learn in this, you know, about composition as well, brushwork, all shadows as well, with vibrant color, shading, rhythm, line, direction, you name it. It seems quite easy, but in order to come up with this simple image, a lot of work goes into it. But I'm just going to basically do a version of this, and we have all our colors set up there to show you. Leave that over there for the moment because we won't be needing it yet. And what we're going to do is sit down, <coughs> welcome you all back again. And first of all, just go through the lovely set of colors I have. Because yeah, look what we have for our base color a lovely aqua green, bright aqua green. You know, it's one of my favorite colors. And you see, this time we've given it a little bit of texture because we want a bit of fun with this, you know give it a little bit of texture. You can use your gesso if you want to put on that first. You know what we use in the class? And then put the bright aqua green over that. It's up to yourself. Now do you see I have my tape on it again? I've already have this prepared to keep the edges of the canvas nice and clean, okay? <clears throat> now don't forget, you can freeze this to look at the colors yourself. We'll just go through them quickly. It's the bright aqua green for the base color. Then we're going to have cadmium yellow light. I'll just get this over here again. It's a haphazard really where I put them the colours. The cadmium yellow light are going, going to go for these little inspirational gills, we'll call them, on the fish, okay? If you don't have cadmium yellow bright or light, use cadmium yellow medium and just add a little bit of white to it, you know? Everything is possible. Okay, so we have that. Then the magenta. We have the fish divided into two parts, which gives a little bit of idea of shadow underneath. In the, in the underneath the deeper water and then this is towards the surface so the magenta medium goes up here in this half okay we all have magenta medium if you don't have magenta medium add a bit of white to the next color which is we have it here the cadmium red medium go down here if you don't have magenta just add some white to it or a little bit of pink to it and you can get a lighter color up here i have them all written down so don't worry then we have the orange cadmium orange okay which is here at the top of the tail. It's in the lower fin area, as they call it, and it's in the mouth area, you know, to give a little bit of expression to the fish. But um, all of these, you know, you can adjust it. If you don't have an orange, use a yellow with a little bit of red in it just to deepen it, okay? The next color, then we have a portrait pink, which we're going to, to outline the eye with, okay? And then the center of the eye is the orange as well, cadmium orange. Then we have green. We have a lovely um, bright yellow green for these, uh, for the want of better you know, words, there could be ripples or bubbles in the water. We have it down here. But if you don't have the bright yellow green, use just ordinary light permanent green with a little bit of yellow in it. And it'll give you a tone close to that, okay? And then we have the, as you can see, the, the yellows here as well intermingled with that. And then finally, we have another one of my favorites here, cobalt blue, okay? And the cobalt blue is going to delineate, it's going to line, give the fish its shape and the eye there as well. Okay, so you have all that. So what we do is we get started. You have the colors there. You can freeze it now if you want to make a note of that and you'll be able to write them down. You can see them all, there's eight colors there and there's possibilities as well as we go through it. Now, we'll put that over there. Now to start, the fish you're saying to yourself oh my god how will I do that fish shape it looks like a circle doesn't it and then I have to do something else so I'm just going to show you an easy way of getting it maybe did you ever see this before it's called a plate okay <laughs> and what we're going to do is it's just a side plate we're going to put it here on the side of this over to the side not too not in the center okay because we want I'll just we're going to put the circle down first try and have equal space there equal space there a bit wider on the left and less space on the right, okay? So if you watch, all you do is just delineate the plate, okay? Go around, draw your line around the plate, hold it in position. You can do this on the flat. I'm doing it upright like this just to show you uh, because uh, it 
it's easier to keep it in the camera view. Okay, then look, you see what, what have you got there? I'm just gonna push this back up again. Look, you have a circle. Then you say to yourself, hold a second, that isn't like a fish. But all we do is think of this as this this is your halfway mark, okay? What you want to do is just bring a line, slope a line down, not all the way out to the edge, but just down like that, and slope it back in again into your circle like that, okay? Can you see that? Can you see where we're going? Then you're sort of looking, you're saying halfway line mark. Okay, let's say the halfway, just a very, very rough line for it there. Can you see it halfway across like that? What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out a little, bring it out a bit away from the circle, a bit away from the circle, okay? Can you see that? And then what we do then is we slant it out here a little bit like that and we slant it out here a little bit like that can you see that little flat bit there little flat bit there and then we just pick it up like this i'm just picking it up like this and i hold my hand in position with my little finger okay and we're going to bring a line down there to which is straight parallel to the edge of that okay and then we can see we bring that line out there a little more like that and we basically have, what do we have then, look? We have a fish shape, okay? And we can put it, just, just to show it, we can have a sort of a line up there, a circle for the eye, okay? But we don't have to worry about that at the moment. That'll be the eye area. Then what we're going to do next is, we're gonna go on to, we're gonna put in a loose line with the actual paint, which is the lovely cobalt blue. But what I'll do is, I'm gonna stop this for a second, and I'll let you take that in, look at that again, delineations, the lines, to hold your position on the canvas, just with your little finger, have it here at the edge, okay? And it holds your position, no matter where you want to draw a line, you'll get a straight line, okay? So back very soon, see you shortly, okay? Put the kettle on, thanks.